Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. Okay, so this is going to be a Gemini Sun, Gemini Moon, <clears throat> and uh, Gemini Rising. Weekly tarot reading, July uh, 8th to July 14th, 2019. And uh, bear with me a second, guys, to shuffle the tarot cards. And uh, we can jump straight away to the, uh, to the spread. Alright, so the first card which represents the topic for Gemini's week, that is going to be uh, the Strength card. Followed by the second one which stands for the challenges that Gemini have to overcome for throughout the week, this is going to be the King of Wands. Followed by the third one which represents the positive aspect for Gemini throughout the week, this is going to be the Four of Wands. And the last one uh, here stands for the uh, guidance that... Uh, Gemini, the tarot has to offer to Gemini for the week, we have the Six of Wands. So once again, strength card, it is the general topic of the week, followed by the uh, challenges here, which stands for the King of Wands. Afterwards, it is the Four of Wands, which is the positive aspect of the week. And then the last one that we do have is going to be the Six of Wands, which is the guidance. So Gemini is, <clears throat> or Gemini, uh, this week you are going to prove someone wrong that they didn't have any belief in you, all right? It's no different than um, you share that you want to do something, everybody doubted at you, and this week, July 8th to July 14th, you're doing it, and everybody kind of like regrets that they have doubted in you, okay? Those who doubted in you, they are regretting that they have doubted in you, if that makes any sense. So uh, the topic itself here points to this strength card and the strength itself, <clears throat> it does stand as the lack of necessity from your behalf to explain yourself why you are doing things and what provokes you to do those things. So it's kind of like we're talking about some sort of a... Um, Let's see, it's not even secrecy, all right? It's more like you are following your own goal, let's say, or your own idea, and you don't, and you don't give a, a, a crap what the others think of it, okay? <clears throat> so it's, it's kind of like sovereignty that we're talking about here with, uh, with the strength card. And even though that whole endeavor that you are trying to um, manifest throughout the week, seems quite difficult uh, the, the the true word for it isn't exactly difficult but it's more like a time consuming all right so you are also going to persevere through patience now it's very important not to give a um an outlook to to the other people's opinion in regards to your endeavor because this only this only is going to provoke more um situations that are fed from uh, from temper meaning you know outburst candles in these kind of stuff but instead you know just whenever someone makes an objection you can just say you know yeah right well just watch me do it 
okay just you don't have to like i said constantly explain and try to justify your acts if you believe that they are right if you believe that this is what you are meant to do all right just do it without like i said asking for a confirmation or a um, approval uh, for that matter the accompanied card here is going to be the um knight of swords so the formation it is a active uh, friends that we do have and it seems that with the knight of swords it seems that some of the decisions that you are going to make in regards to that endeavor this week is going to correlate well with your uh, with your emotions so meaning that you are going to decide in favor of what you want to do and how you want to do it and that is going to cross certain people okay Certain people are not going to be agreed or not going to be very pleased, if I may say it that way, with what you decided to do, you know, for example, with the money that you have uh, recently earned, with the marriage that you do have, with the relationship that you do have, or with the job and, and skills in career that you do have as well. So that being said here, this is one other reason, you know, why you should not kind of be 100% open if it is not necessary so if someone doesn't ask simply do not tell okay but just focus yourself on your own goal and mind your own business that is what is important for throughout the week so the challenge here is going to be the this uh this person king of wands and the whole challenge resides into you impressing that guy that could be your um that person it may not be only a man you know it could be a woman as well but that could be your boss, for example, that you need to impress in order for them to validate your success, okay? Or to, to give you an opportunity to become promoted, for example, or uh, to basically, you know, see you in a different light, like more capable. And um, the reason why it's going to be difficult for you to impress them it is because they always kind of have their expectations topped up. Even sometimes their expectations are quite unrealistic from the standpoint that in order to fulfill those expectations you should not make any mistake along the way and you should give always a, a maximum performance <clears throat> all right the accompanied card here is going to be the queen of pentacles the formation it is a uh, active neutrals that we do have and uh, the thing is that this person here is only impressed by innovative um, innovative performance or innovative approach, you know, or in generally innovative solutions. He is not, this person isn't interested into the, um, into the orthodox way how one uh, does things. This person is interested only in the more and into the discovery of more and more efficient ways how one endeavor can be achieved. And probably you are on the path, you know, to achieve more efficient way to deal with the, uh, with the plights into your career or with the tasks into your career. You know, maybe you are on the path to achieve more efficient way to take advantage of your relationship or to make your relationship more happier and et cetera, et cetera. So the next card here that we do have, it is the positive aspect of your week and that is going to be the uh, Four of Wands. And the Four of Wands only points that this week is going to be a week where you are going to reach a, a very major closure of a cycle of development. What that means is that this isn't ending, but it is more like a milestone. Just to give you an example, let's say that you are planning a, a big project, all right? And this week, it is the week where the plan ends and the real execution of the project starts. So it's like a milestone, a ending of a cycle of growth, of big development and next cycle follow up after. So if it is about relationship, all right, that means that probably this relationship, the very least, you will start thinking of a, a bigger commitment here, like moving in together, you know, or like engagement and these kind of uh, and these kind of stuff. The accompanied card here is going to be the tower and the formation it is a uh, active supporters in what we do have so with this uh, specific combination it does look like guys that the next cycle or you are going to be pretty much ready to storm the next uh, the next cycle pretty confident that whatever it is that comes in your way 
you will be able to capitalize on it because with this uh, with this specific combo you are going to have a maximum preparation you know for what is to follow from that endeavor that you are uh, developing here with uh, with the strength card so if that's a big project you know maybe you don't know how the next cycle of development is going to be um, to to manifest itself but pretty much you are gonna take the precautionary measures for any variation of it that you can think of and most likely those variations uh, one of one of these variations is going to be the one in present the point with these cards is that there won't be any crisis anymore after this milestone is reached you know either into your career or either into your relationship as well and that is only however guys if you don't follow the opinion of others but you do follow only your own guts your own enthusiasm if i may express it that way and um yeah your own enthusiasm and what was the other word um well i forgot it so yeah it's it's like uh <clears throat> having the urge to do something you know so yeah um follow only what you have the urge to do and what you think is as well best to do and completely disregard what, uh, <clears throat> what the people around you think of it. And so the last card for you, Cancer, is going to be uh, the Six of Wands, which is uh, the general, uh, the, um, the guidance that uh, Taro is offering to you. So uh, the Six of Wands gives uh, the, such kind of a guidance, you know, the only way how you can, how you personally, you know, can be recognized and can receive rewards is if you show your own personal signature into the work that the world expects, meaning that if you achieve something through mutual help, then the recognition is going to be mutual, it's not going to be your own recognition, all right? And here, this uh, uh, that week, July 8th to July 14th, it seems that it is time that you stand out from others, okay? You stand out with something unique, you stand out with something that you are to be recognized with, you stand out with a force that it is worthy to be reckoned with as well. Uh, the Six of Wands here also points that you are going to receive the rewards of your labor, should that labor be uh, a, a product of a, a singular performance once again. The accompanied card is going to be the Six of, uh, the six of Cups here, and the formation, it is a, um, a passive uh, passive enemies so six is the number of family and relationships as well okay and uh, what these cards right now in a conjunction points that uh, you don't have to be liked by many all right you just need to be liked by the those who who um, who are valuable all right for you to be liked and as well that sometimes to provoke a uh, bigger emotions into someone a, a little bit more bold actions are needed in the sense of that, you know, try to to, to provoke a, a peak of experience instead, instead of relying on a, a calm and, uh, how can I say it, steady current, okay? But also, this couple of cards in the grand scheme of things here, guys, points that, uh, how can I describe it? You can be rewarded for something that's, uh, well, I, I have difficulty to describe that. Um, so you can't be only recognized if you do something that no one else did. <clears throat> and that is the reason why you should proceed from now on on your own, okay? With your business endeavor or with, uh, with kind of like with relationship in a sense, not following what people tell you about your relationship, okay? So let's say that your relationship is facing difficulties and you share those difficulties with your social circle, well, everybody is going to have their own opinion. Everybody is going to give you an, an advice, okay? And probably everybody is going to criticize you how you're not handling the situation very well. But the point is that they are not in your shoes, okay? They cannot decide for you. And whatever <clears throat> urge you have to make a decision for, 
that is the direction you need to move out and move on forward with because this person that we do have as a challenge is going to be impressed on not only by your good performance and by your determination but as well you know by your uh, by the strength of your spirit not being deviated by the opinion of the majority so that being said gemini's this was your uh, weekly tarot reading for july 8th to july uh, 14 2019 i hope you enjoyed it and you liked it guys and uh, we're going to see each other around until then bye